Good morning, sunshine. Okay, today we're going to talk about cooking, but in five seconds. So right now, take a deep breath and leave a comment about where you are. Where in the world are you? Or take advantage of this gap to open up your window so you get some nice fresh air because that's what I'm doing. I'm in a, our scuffy little kitchen and I just opened our, our uh, window so I can get some sort of fresh air. All the weeds grow because at least they're cleaning the air and cooling down our office. It's sumac or something, which most people uh, cut down, but um, the back of our office is just a parking area with a bunch of kind of stinky cars and cement. So we let all the greenery that will grow, grow. So here's something that's not related to what we're talking about today. Um, we have a great blog. Yoli is our editor um, who's helping you out today. And uh, Yoli, if you could put that blog, Three Essential Plants for Clean Indoor Air. There's three plants. It's all you need. It's this TED Talk. It's on Elephant Journal. And um, only one of them really works for your bedroom because most plants breathe in pollution during the day and breathe out sort of uh, CO2 or something at night. But this one plant, which is in that blog, um, and I just bought a big one at our local hardware store um, yesterday, McGuckin, um, one of them actually breathes in dirty air at night. So you want that one in your bedroom. So yeah, say where you're from, and uh, today we're going to talk about cooking uh, from a somewhat unique point of view. And before bachelors, you bachelors like me out there, tune out and say, I'm going to go watch Waylon's video on sex from two days ago or something that's on youtube.com slash elephantjournal. Um, I'm going to talk about cooking from a point of view of someone, me, who never cooks. Ever. I make lots of meals for myself. Sorry, I'm trying to hide Facebook's number here, which I hate seeing. Facebook shows me all these, all this info, and it distracts me from talking to you. All right, so Robin is in the gorgeous Pacific Northwest, Seattle. I'm jealous. I've never been to the PNW, and I very much want to go. Oberlin, Ohio, I know nothing about it. Annette, hello. Leslie, Tuscan, California. Anyone else from anywhere? All right, so the last couple days I have been cooking. Um, Yoli, did you put that three essential plants? I don't see it. In the comments, maybe it's just not refreshing. Uh, if you're there, maybe just say where you are so that I know people are actually on. Knoxville, Tennessee, well, God damn. Hello to you, Daniel. Chrissy, South Lake Tahoe, never been. I've never been to any of these places. Arkansas, Little Rock, home of the Clintons. Jada, hello. Holly, Vancouver, I've also not been there, but I do know where it is, but thank you for explaining. Hello, Holly. Um, I've only been to Halifax, obviously New York, Boston, where I lived for many years, Vermont. I've driven around the country, so I've been to most of the Midwest states, but mostly just sort of stopping by. North Hollywood, I've been there. Alley, I biked around there and, and hung out there a little bit. Woodstock, Vermont. D, I've been there. I miss Vermont horribly. Clarksville, Tennessee, never been, need to go. Lock Sahachi, what a cool name. Florida, never been to Florida at all. Grass Valley, California, haven't been. So it seems like it's working. So I'm gonna talk about cooking. Cooking from the point of view of number one, those of you who do cook, maybe if you could do me the favor of, well, we have this page on Facebook called Elephant Recipes and we share all our mindful recipes, eco, or not. I'm vegan, not all the recipes are vegan because we try not to tell you how to live, but we do try and encourage people to be eco-responsible and um, humane in their diet. But uh, my approach, which a lot of people disagree with, is not to tell people how to live, but to show them um, you know, something that works, that's good, that's delicious, that um, maybe is a 
a little more, uh, a little better for animals and better for the planet. And then, you know, you can make your own decision. Um, I, I'm not in charge of whether the whole world is going to be vegan or not. And frankly, many, many vegans, and I've written many, many blogs about that, um, aren't very environmentally responsible at all. We eat a ton of stuff, palm oil, which is horrible for animals. Um, we, uh, eat a lot of soy, which mows down rainforest. So, um, anyway, if you're excited to talk about cooking and mindful cooking, please give a like or something. And if you're not, uh, at all, then you can just leave a comment and say, talk about something else that's super boring. I'm a bachelor, so I'm not very good at cooking and I'm not very good at talking about cooking, but I'm going to talk about it because I think it's very, very important. All right, Wuthering, well, this video is for you. So, Trump has this hat that says, make America great again. We made a bunch of hats kind of making fun of that. Here's one of them. But one of the hats I wanted to make for the uh, foodies and for the non-foodies among us is make America cook again. Uh, another good one is make America read again. But I think, you know, so I interviewed Michael Pollan. Yoli, maybe you could, is Yoli here? I'm not seeing these blogs that I'm mentioning in the comments. Hmm, I'm alone. Jill from Denver, all right. Well, Yoli, if you're here, can you just say you're here so I know that you're getting these blogs in here? Maybe I'm just not seeing them. If anyone from Elephant is watching, if you could make sure Yoli's okay and she's around. Do, 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 do. Technology. It works every time. So make America cook again. So anyway, I interviewed Michael Pollan. I was going to say, Yoli, if you can leave my interview with Michael Pollan in the comments. And he says, if you want to do one thing that's good for the planet, good for your own health, good for your own weight, your fitness, good for animals, cook. Because if you cook, you're going to be generally buying real food, not packaged, not processed, or it'll be less packaged and less processed. You're going to be spending a little time slowing down. So I was cooking using uh, this meal service. You know the meal delivery service? They send you a whole meal in a box. So there's a whole bunch of them. They're all trying to make billions of dollars. And only one of them that I know about is super green and super eco and super organic and super sustainable. So I've been testing them out, reviewing them. Um, and it's called Sun Basket. And uh, it's organic, local to California food. Um, generally sustainable. Some of the packaging is plastic, it's recyclable, which I don't like plastic ever. And the plastic bags make me sad because what are you going to do with them unless you have a drug habit? Pl these little plastic bags are not useful. Um, and I don't have a drug habit, sadly, other than caffeine. Um, so, but all the rest of the packaging is super eco and the food is amazing. So I'm cooking, I'm assembling all this stuff, and it's I had this moment of, I can't read this recipe. I can't cook. I can't, I can't do that. I can't be present. I can't read it. It's almost like brought me back to like math class, calculus in high school. And then I just said, Waylon, just take a deep breath, read this recipe. And suddenly it was really easy and it was super fun. And I'm cooking on my beautiful stove that never gets cooked on. And I suddenly had this amazing meal. And uh, I resisted the urge to Instagram everything because, you know, that's the cliche, you Instagram your highlights of your life and you never Instagram the reality. I try and Instagram both. And, um, and suddenly I'm sitting down and eating this amazing meal. So shout out to Sun Basket. I think we have three free meals for all of you elephant readers. And if I'm wrong, let me know. All right. I have to go find an editor because I'm not seeing Yoli. Do, do, do. Now you get to see Elephant Office. Yoli, the editor's not on, and I'm mentioning videos and blogs, and no one's putting them in, and I need it. Say hi. Hi. So can you find an editor? Or find, maybe Yoli's having Wi-Fi issues. Okay. Sorry. We need an editor to help you out. And there's Bess, and she's on the phone. 
All right, sorry this is so disorganized, but that's what you get with live video. On a positive note, we have um, 10,000 people uh, tune in for these and uh, 20,000 within the uh, two hours. And then we put them on YouTube and many of our videos have gone to 100,000 and we now have almost 5 million viewers on YouTube. So subscribe on YouTube. Anyway, back to the subject. So I found that in cooking the Sun Basket meal that I actually, it brought up a lot of speediness. No worries, just on a video. Just ring the bell, open the doors, it's cool. Um, and then it slowed me down and then I enjoyed some real food and it, and it was a profound experience because even if I'm not going to get packaged food forever, um, it, a sun basket, I have to give you a salute, a thank you. You, it helped me figure out how to slow down, assemble a recipe, cook and enjoy a meal. And now I'm sort of empowered as this bachelor who never cooks ever, um, to go to my local farmer's market, go to the grocery, try and do stuff with zero packaging, you know, fresh local stuff, and uh, cook. Now I feel kind of excited about that. So, Sun Basket, if nothing, if I, I, th I think I particularly want to recommend it for those of you who don't really cook often. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity to kind of empower yourself to to do it, to figure out how to do a recipe and cook, and it's very simple, and it's super good. If you cook all the time, you know all of this stuff. So if you cook all the time, yay, Yoli is here. Okay, so we need the Michael Pollan video, and we need the, I mentioned some other thing, the three essential house plants. Yoli, if you can find those. And also, Yoli, introduce yourself, and, and Yoli's awesome. All right, uh, Yoli is in California. All right, so um, one thing I would love for you to do, we share tons of really good recipes on Elephant, and some people love them and read them and share them, and some of them are super uh, popular, but often, you know, it's all the relationshipy stuff that is popular on Elephant. So if you feel like it, go to our food section. In the top, there's categories, and check out all our recipes, and um, if any of you read Elephant, what is your favorite recipe you've read on Elephant? I think um, one that I really enjoyed was the um, chickpeas. You can put that in the comments. That one's super popular. Um, they may not be the healthiest thing ever, but it's a great snack food. And um, that's about all I got. I got the notion that you can slow down, you can cook, that cooking is um, not just the act of being over the oven and sitting down and eating, but it is caring for where it comes from uh, is it sustainable? Is it truly humane? Is it good for the planet? Is it involved minimal to no packaging? And if it is packaging, like Sun Basket, they try and use some compostable, you know, try and try and have, um, you know, really no plastic packaging. And then uh, can you sit down and, and enjoy and eat it fully? And, you know, that's probably the bet, best diet plan for those of you who are trying to lose a pound or two. Not that you need to, but if you are trying to get more fit, cooking is a wonderful way to appreciate the food you're going to eat and then you appreciate it so much you're going to eat it and enjoy eating it and then you're not going to overeat. I often overeat when I'm speedy and I'm watching the TV, you know, eating nachos and watching Game of Thrones and then I have to eat a whole nother plate of nachos just to enjoy it because I'm not even present. All right. Hello Fresh. Yeah, the packaging is really a bummer um, with HelloFresh and, and, well, I don't know HelloFresh, but with most of these meal delivery things. I would check out Sun Basket, and I think at the very least it'll get you going. And I think you get three free meals if you look at the uh, link that Yoli kindly put in. Do, 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 do. And I do cook things, the things I cook for myself are often Mexican things, like tacos and nachos and... Um, for breakfast, oatmeal kind of stuff, just simple stuff. So I do cook, but um, not fancy stuff. Like Sun Basket has me cooking like paella, which maybe isn't fancy, but it sounds intimidating. It was really fun. And uh, I encourage all of you to try out their vegan recipes particularly. Yeah, Rochelle, it is hard to cook for one in a way because you wind up always making too much for yourself. But what I did is I got a bunch of glass um, Tupperware with silicone, uh, lids, not plastic lids, and then, um, you know, you can store it and have a ready-made meal for next time. And I love to get big, big things of beans and rice and just, 
you're not too big because then you can't eat it all and you're eating beans and rice all week. Um, and I love CSAs, uh, the community supported agriculture, like at farmer's market. So if anyone, uh, Sophie, Wuthering, any of you have, uh, recommendations for, you know, um, eco healthy cooking tips, put them in the comments since I know so little. Breakfast is a vegan. Um, I mean, oatmeal is actually not to sound too adult, but I hated it when I was a kid. Now I love it. You put dates in there, you put brown sugar in there, you put um, maybe a little uh, coconut, um, what do you call it? Coconut oil. And um, what else do I like to put in there? I think that's about it. And it's delicious. Um, obviously fruit is delicious for breakfast. Granola is delicious for breakfast. We have a great article, Yoli, maybe you could put it in about uh, being a vegan beekeeper. That's a fantastic article on the issue of honey. If it's local honey, I encourage you vegans to support it. Um, often local honey uh, or beekeepers are kind to the bees instead of hurting them or killing them, unlike commercial honey. Yeah, maybe Yoli, just pop a few of your favorite vegan recipes in the comments or eco recipes and also that Michael Pollan video. Maybe it's already in there. I'm lost in comments. Yeah, oatmeal is super good and filling and healthy. Um, Jill, I cook enough for the two of us to have at least one dinner and one lunch the next day. I make a big pot of beans each week and then cook meat for my husband, usually wild game he hunted. Yeah, so I'm vegan, but um, you know, for those of you who hunt or fish, that's far better uh, than getting meat or fish at the grocery or at a restaurant. Um, one of the saddest things, whether we're vegan or not, I hope we can all agree that factory farming is something that vegans and meat eaters can all boycott. Uh, factory farming is torture. Um, it's one thing to say, I'm going to eat meat, I'm going to eat fish, I'm going to kill as part of my diet and to own that. But the torture of factory farming is something I think we all need to move away from. So if you're going to get meat or fish, hopefully, you know, hunt or fish it yourself or get it from a farmer, um, get it locally, you know, know your source. Holly Miller, anything with zoodles in it? Zoodles or zucchini noodles, vegan and around here, everyone is either giving away zucchinis or selling them at the farmer's markets. Yes, yeah, CSAs are amazing if you want to get a ton of veggies that are affordable and support farms. Check out your local CSA. If you just search CSA and wherever you live, you can find one. And, um, you know, you can find one now or you can do it for next year. Anyway, back to zoodles. It's a good way to get your ver serving of vegetables and sink them in for kids as well for whoever has little ones. Once you've cooked your zoodles, you can use them as a noodle substitute for most recipes that involve noodles. Love it, Holly. Yeah, Jenny, you do get three free meals from uh, Sunbasket. Check them out. Pretty eco. So, yeah, my interview with Michael Paul in the... Oh, yeah, you found it. There it is. Yeah, check it out. He was so cool. He's just as cool as you would hope he would be. From Natalie, any one of you uh, leave a comment, leave a tip in here, that'd be great. And check out the three free uh, meals from Sunbasket. All right, Natalie, I love cooking and trying new recipes. I find it helpful when I am cooking to make a bit extra so I have something for another day that I feel like cooking. Like when I make my vegan cheese sauce, what do you make it out of? Or Alfredo sauce, I always make two to three times the recipe worth and put them in mason jars in the fridge and use the sauces for other stuff for a couple of days. I love that, that sounds so, you sound very together, Natalie. I would love for you to write an article about your tips. Elephantjournal.com slash submit. Um, any other tips from anyone? If not, we can make it a short one today. Uh, chia seeds, I put some chia seeds, I actually have a bunch, in uh, replying to Tammy and liking your comment. Uh, if you see any comments you like, give them a like, give them some love, give them a reply. Um, tips on incorporating chia seeds. I put chia seeds in my oatmeal. I don't know if that's the best, but you can, I think, put them in salad too. There might be some question about how to digest them best, if anyone has tips. Great suggestion from Julia. Quinoa with raw honey and nuts. Cinnamon. So here's something people don't know about honey. Often honey is advertised as raw, but it's not raw. It's not regulated. So make sure you actually are getting raw honey because honey has especially if it's local honey, is incredibly good for you. If you have allergies, you can have local, a teaspoon of local honey, your allergies might go away um, because you're sort of inoculating yourself against all the pollens and that kind of thing. So make sure it's actually raw. Like here in 
maybe uh, Yoli, you could put my video about raw honey with um, Highland honey in um, in the comments, please. That would be great. All right. Any other tips or comments or vegan recipes or other recipes from Elephant? Um, Rhiannon. I have looked into joining Sunbasket. Looks great. Unfortunately, they are not shipping outside of a limited area at the moment. Oh, maybe they will reach Texas in the future. I'll use the local farmer's market for now. Well, that's fantastic. And um, yeah, I mean, maybe we can get Sunbasket to share some of their recipes. Um, good advertising for them and good recipes for you. I mean, I'm holding on to these recipes I just did with Sunbasket forever. Next date I have or I'm cooking at home or the first one ever where I'm going to be cooking at home on a date. I'm going to feel empowered to make a good meal. Um, thanks to Sunbasket, our mindful eco sponsor. So here at Elephant, we try and um, walk our talk. You know, that's literally the name of this uh, show. So if you appreciate that we're trying to walk our talk, please give us a like or a love or a comment. Um, one way we walk our talk is by uh, having sponsors who are actually trying to be green and trying to be good for you and trying to be good for our readers. Um, instead of, you know, kind of chemical, toxic, uh, alcohol, car sponsors, nothing wrong with alcohol, uh, alcohol or cars necessarily, but most websites are making their money off of not necessarily products that are not necessarily great for their readers. And so we're trying to work with people like Sunbasket who, who we feel are genuinely trying. Uh, Hungry Root. I don't know them at all. Candy, let us know more about them if you like. I've never checked out these food delivery things because I feel like getting supporting your local farmer's market is best. But the fact is, when if you're not getting your food from a farmer's market or your garden, if you're getting it from a grocery uh, or a restaurant that isn't all local food, the food is getting shipped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles, 1,500 miles on average. I did a couple interviews, Yoli, with Bill McKibben. Maybe you could put in the comments where he talks about this. So from that point of view, if the food delivery service can be truly compostable and eco and recyclable and plastic free, I think it's a fantastic um, option. And also I would love to see some offsets um, in there because you know the shipping individual boxes is probably more carbon intensive than shipping in trucks and, and all that. Um, but uh, if the Sunbasket folks are around and they want to uh, let us know their thoughts on that, I welcome it. Wuthering. My veggie stew is very simple. It is just root vegetables, boiled, and veggie OXO cubes. OXO cubes? I don't know. Weathering, that sounds good, though. Natalie, I make quinoa for dinner and always make extra. I'm a big salsa and guac. And, you know, uh, Field Roast makes an amazing vegan cheese out of cashew. It's the first good vegan cheese, in my opinion. Um, Yoli, I did an interview with Daya, who everyone loves in the vegan world. Um, I, I find it kind of goopy compared to Field Roast. Um, Natalie, I make quinoa for dinner and always make extra. Then the next morning I saute up sliced apples or peaches and add the leftover quinoa in. Yum. Natalie, I think you need to blog for Elephant. Oh, Melina, thank you. Um, yeah, so maybe Yoli, you could leave that bachelor cooking video with Peggy. So that's a better thing than what I'm doing right now, which is me being an idiot, but I'm with a wonderful cook and we kind of work with me being an idiot and cook a meal in my kitchen. So if you want to see me fumble around in my kitchen, check out that video. Hopefully Yoli will put that in the comments. Do, do, do. Hilda, do you have meat free Monday weekly posts? You can just put those in the comments. So Hilda is a wonderful writer at Elephant and it sounds like you're blogging about meat free Mondays and you do a weekly recipe. You can put those in yourself. That, I would love that. Um, or Yoli, you can, you can do it. Um, Delectable Planet in Ned. Cool. I'd love to meet them. Tammy. Yeah, check out our recipes, Jill. We have lots of good ones. Highland Honey. Yeah, so if you guys feel like it, uh, please watch that Highland Honey video. If you do nothing else today, um, watch that Highland Honey video. Um, yeah, Yoli, give them some personal introductions. Like Travis, that's great. I've made this recipe several times and love it. Um, oh, great tip from Rochelle. Chia seeds should be first hydrated into a gel before consuming or added, added into a recipe. Otherwise, you just, I think you just kind of digest them out. You don't really uh, process them. Um, yeah, chia seed hydration. 
Tammy, I started HelloFresh due to be up because you're up in Northwest Montana. Farmer's Market is only available for a few months a year. Also, of course, you can, you know, grow some herbs and do a little, um, a little bit of gardening, even if it's freezing, you know, in a greenhouse or something or in your windows. Uh, Jada, soaked oatmeal for the AM, soak raw meal, oatmeal overnight with water and raw apple cider vinegar and put in the fridge. You can add any of your favorite toppings in the AM. The soaking helps to make the oatmeal easily digestible and is so good for you. Jada, that sounds amazing, and I would love for you to blog that. Elephantjournal.com slash submit. Submit to us. Holly, Portland, there's a lot of co-op shops. I know, I want to move there. I want to come. Local farmers, brewers, etc. all get together and contribute to the grocery. It's a good way to have local goods with real-life grocery stuff. Honey, bottled soda, everything you find in a grocery. Oh, yeah, there's the Peggy. Thank you, Yoli. Hilda, thank you. Hilda, leave a bunch in, but remember to introduce them in a personal way so people know that you're the author. Hilda's a great writer. Everyone read her articles and and uh, thank her. All right, any questions, comments, favorite recipes, favorite recipes on elephant, anything? Get your three free meals from Sunbasket. I've mentioned them a bunch. They're a mindful eco sponsor um, and will help you get cooking. Cooking is wonderful. Watch that Michael Pollan video. Watch the Highland Honey video, it's super fun. Tim is a, ladies, Tim is a very charming guy. If that's it, I'm going to, oh no, we gotta do two minutes of meditation. All right, so if you want to join me for meditation, please do. Take a deep breath, take a good posture. Eyes can be open. We'll just do this for two minutes. This is Buddhist meditation, shamatha. Take a deep breath in and out. Now, with your eyes open, hands on your thighs. Um, and Yoli, you could leave the dot and letter meditation instructions in the comments, please. Um, please uh, join me in meditating. It's a wonderful way to be present for your food, for your cooking, for your family, for your friends, for your life, for your work. Find your breath in and out. Take a good posture and then relax it. If we can't be present, we can't enjoy our life, we can't enjoy our meal. Just breathing in and out. We're not meditating yet. All you're doing is having a good, relaxed posture and breathing in and out. Okay, now we're gonna start meditating. So if you find yourself thinking about me being an idiot, about me being a genius, which is unlikely, about your day, about your work, about your challenges, about an irritation, about the weather, about a noise, label it thinking and return to your breath. And that is the entire practice of meditation, basically. Take a good posture, eyes open. This is Buddha Shamatha, which means re learning to rest the mind in the present moment. Find your breath in and out. When you find yourself thinking, just notice it, it, label it thinking, and return your attention to your breath. And in so doing, we're training ourselves to be present instead of getting caught up in our ego, in our insecurity, in our aggression, in our clinging. All right, much respect to all of you, and uh, please give yourself a friendly, fun to-do to cook, to get what you need for a simple recipe. Find a simple recipe on Elephant um, or in these comments sections that you want to do. Get the ingredients today. Try and cook tonight or tomorrow. And all best to all of you. If you want to get the best of Elephant, get elephantjournal.com slash best free. See you tomorrow.